All right, I want to show you how to uh, hack a Harbor Freight flow charger because usually they're stock. They output about 14 volts or more or so, and that's not good for uh, floating your battery, uh, you know, for months at a time. Uh, what you want to see for floating is uh, about 13.2 to 13.5 or 6-ish. So I want to show you what mine is outputting right now. It's about 14 volts, but when cold, it's uh, it's about 14.1, 14.2-ish, and that's that's just too high. I mean, 14 point or 0.4 more volts would actually be boiling the acid out of the battery, and that ain't good at all. So that's nowhere close to where it should be. I made up some uh, resistors here to put in line with the uh, positive terminal here and I'll show you what it outputs right now about 13.5 so that's that's pretty good you know, it's not bad I'd like to see it like between 13.2-ish, 13.3, but uh, that's just fine right there. Uh, let me see how many ohms it says. Okay, I'm going to need to go higher. Okay, about 40,000 ohms, 40,500 ohms. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do that, try to put it in such a way that it'll fit in this small little box that I tore apart and to get this box open it's in there like that or some you go and take a box cutter knife you just work at it and go all the way around it a few times yeah and then get you a small knife or something or a flathead screwdriver and just pry up and pull off. <coughs> so that's how you do that. And for this, I want to go ahead and unplug the charger. This is the Harbor Freight float charger that they give you. It's a 15 volt DC at 500 milliamps. So we're going to hook this up, desolder the positive line here, let's see, it's going to be this one there. That did it. Not all that much wire there, but we're going to do our best.
there we go. I'm just going to bend this in such a way that it's going to go back and into that positive spot there. Something like that, if you could see it. <laughs> Adjust this camera here. There we go. <clears throat> Something like that. Uh, but first I'm going to go ahead and wrap it in electrical tape. Or something like that. Bend it over and stick it in the hole there. There we go. Stick it up right there. There we are. Hopefully that'll fit in the box okay. If not, I'll make some arrangements. But for now, let's uh, go ahead and plug it in and test our voltage. Thirteen point four. That's good. Exactly what we want. Not too high, not too low, just right. Well, camera fell down. There we go. Now, let's see if we can't put this back in its home.
smaller screwdriver. I'm gonna do something like this. There we go. They're going to fit perfect, but uh, you can barely see the LED in there. But that's okay. At least it's uh, going to work like it's supposed to now. And I'll probably have to cut that piece down here. pieces here sticks up There it is. It kind of sticks up a little bit more on that side, but with the added resistors and stuff in there, it may not fit perfectly anymore. Yeah, no, that's just going to have to do. And I'll hot glue all the way around this. But yeah, that's how I modified mine.